Hello guys and welcome. It's Engineering Rebel and in this video I'm going to start assembling my inline two-cylinder engine. So I'm going to start putting in the crankshaft along with the bearings and components, the starter clutch, flywheel, oil pan along with its gasket, and the pistons. So let's begin. One of the reasons I wanted to rebuild this engine was not only because to show you guys how an engine works and how the parts are assembled, but also to grease it properly because when I first got this engine, it was assembled and it wasn't greased that properly from the factory. So I just want to grease it myself just to ensure that all the parts are well lubricated. I'm going to first start assembling the crankshaft and then put it on the block. <laughs> So the crankshaft is in along with its components. You could see that the bearings, the seals, and the starter clutch is in place. And when I go ahead to turn it, it turns freely. Now I'm gonna start to put in the piston. So what I have to do is to flip the engine over and to put the pistons in along with the connecting rod caps. And I just have to be honest, I am genuinely impressed with this engine. If you can see, there are actually main bearings. My one cylinder engine that I built a couple of months ago didn't have that. So it's actually pretty impressive and a great attention to detail. So I've already put in half of the main bearings and something interesting I've noticed that, that there is a little hole in the main bearing and there's also a little hole in the same place on the connecting rod. Now what this is, is that this takes the oil that's in the crankcase and that oil goes in through the connecting rod into the main bearing, lubricating the journals on the crankshaft. I think that this is a spectacular attention to detail and it's an awesome feature, especially to keep the journals lubricated. Now comes the fun part. Now I have to put the pistons into the block. So now that the pistons are in, I have to put some lubrication on the journals, which is this part on the crankshaft. And this is where the connecting rod attaches to the crankshaft. It's these circular parts called the journals. Then I have to put the connecting rod caps along with the main bearings. And then I'm sure I could put on the oil pan gasket and then put the oil pan on and screw it in place. Now that the pistons are in and the connecting rod caps are also in place along with the main bearing, now we're going to put in the oil pan gasket on along with the oil pan and then put on the bolts along with this little PCV. So for those of you wondering, a PCV is a positive crank ventilation. So as the piston moves up and down, it's compressing that air fuel mixture in the combustion chamber. But when the piston moves down, it's also causing pressure buildup in the crank case and in the oil pan. So what the PCV does is that it releases all that pressure so it doesn't cause pressure buildup in the crank case or in the oil pan causing damage. <music> So that's going to wrap it up for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my cool projects. I will see you guys in the next one.